Hare Krishna devotees. Welcome to Shloka Day. Today, Shloka is Shloka number 13 of chapter 11. Atrai Kastham Jagat Krishnam. Atrai Kastham Jagat Krishnam. Rabi Bhaktam Manekadha. Rabi Bhaktam Manekadha. Apashyad Deva Devasya. Apashyad Deva Devasya. Sharire Pandavastada. Sharire Pandavastada. And for meaning translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Tatra. Tatra. There. There. Ekastham. Ekastham. In one place. In one place. Jagat. Jagat. The universe. The universe. Kritsnam. Kritsnam. Complete. Complete. Pravibhaktam. Pravibhaktam. Divided. Divided. Anekadha. Anekadha. Into many. Into many. Apashyat. Apashyat. Could see. Could see. Deva Devasya. Deva Devasya. Of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Sharire. Sharire. In the universal form. In the universal form. Pandavaha. Pandavaha. Arjuna. Arjuna. Tada. Tada. At that time. At that time. Translation. At that time. At that time. Arjuna could see. Arjuna could see. In the universal form of the Lord. In the universal form of the Lord. The unlimited expansions. The unlimited expansions. Of the universe. Of the universe. Situated in one place. Situated in one place. Although divided into. Although divided into. Many, many thousands. Many, many thousands. So this is a continuation of Sanjaya describing what Arjuna is seeing in the cosmic form. Prabhupada writes, the word Tatra there is very significant. It indicates that both Arjuna and Krishna were sitting on the chariot when Arjuna saw the universal form. Others on the battlefield could not see this form because Krishna gave the vision only to Arjuna. Arjuna could see in the body of Krishna many thousands of planets. As we learn from Vedic scriptures, there are many universes and many planets. Some of them are made of earth, some are made of gold, some are made of jewels, some are very great, some are not so great, etc. Sitting on his chariot, Arjuna could see all these. But no one could understand what was going on between Arjuna and Krishna. <clears throat> After describing wondrous spectacles in the cosmic form, Sanjaya states that it encompassed the entire universe. Even more amazingly, Arjuna saw the totality of existence in the locality of Sri Krishna's body. He beheld the entire creation of infinite universes with their manifold divisions of galaxies and planetary systems in a mere fraction of the body of the Supreme God. So Arjuna was seeing all of the material cosmos in one small fraction of the Lord's cosmic form. During his childhood pastimes, Shri Krishna had also revealed the cosmic form to his mother, Yashoda. The Supreme Lord had hidden his mystic opulences and was playing the role of a little child for the pleasure of his devotees. Thinking of Shri Krishna as her son, Yashoda chastised him severely one day for eating mud despite her constant admonitions and asked him to open his mouth so that she may see what was in it? However, to her immense wonder, when Sri Krishna opened his mouth, he revealed within it a vision of his cosmic form by his Yogamaya power. Yashoda was bewildered to see such unlimited wonders in the mouth of a little child. 
she was so overcome by the spectacle that she came on the verge of swooning when Sri Krishna touched her and brought her back to normalcy. The same cosmic form that the Lord revealed to his mother Yashoda, he is now revealing to his friend Arjun. Now Sanjaya describes Arjun's response to the vision of the cosmic form. So the next shloka is the shloka where um, Sanjaya concludes the description of the cosmic form, followed by which Arjuna will begin to speak about what he is seeing uh, in relation to the cosmic form. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.